Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I thought I would do a January favourites and I think I'm gonna start with food. Well, I'm gonna start with this protein bar. Don't know if you can see this. I've already eaten it, obviously. <laughs> but, ooh, bring it in. Is it upside down? Nope. Is it in focus? I think so. Yeah, this protein bar is just so enjoyable. It's um, chocolate caramel and cookie dough. Mm, right up my street. Um, it's low sugar, nine vitamins, 20 grams of protein, and it's just amazing. I've been starting to go to the gym. I thought it'd be really beneficial for me because I get stressed all the time. So I just thought it'd be good to go to the gym because I've heard it's, you know, good for your mind and your body and all that good stuff so yeah these protein bars have been good very nice obviously I don't just eat these ones there's other flavors and stuff but at the minute this has been my favorite okay so the next thing I want to show you is um, they are nut burgers basically um, I'm gonna show you on my phone sorry if it's a bit dirty I've eaten them all, so that's why I only have a picture. Oh, go back in focus. There we go. Um, these burgers are so nice. I don't eat a lot of meat. I wouldn't say I'm a vegetarian, but I don't eat a lot of meat. And these burgers just taste absolutely amazing. Like I love them to bits. So yeah, I would highly recommend these. If anyone is thinking of like a veggie burger, that they are thinking of trying. It tastes a bit like, um, I don't know why it reminds me of this, but it kind of reminds me of a certain sandwich from Subway. I don't know why, I think it's because it's got a kind of like lettucey taste. I know that sounds silly because like, obviously any sandwich can have lettuce on it, but for me, it just tastes a little bit like a subway sandwich but obviously i have my if it'll only taste like a sandwich if you have it on a bread because on its own it probably won't taste like a subway sandwich but i have it on like a brown muffin and a little bit of light mayonnaise and then obviously the little burger in the middle i don't have any lettuce on it but i just think it's really nice next i'm going to be going into skincare so my hands get awfully dry um the other day actually my hand like split a little bit it was just horrible really painful so I need to make sure that I am putting cream on and a lot of creams for me seem to irritate my skin like they go all red and blotchy and just a bit like bumpy and textured it's just not great so the only cream that I've figured out actually helps my skin is the Aveeno moisturizing cream this one I just think this is really nice, soaks in quite quickly, I don't feel like it's sticky, it just feels really s smooth and just, yeah, it really helps my skin because I just don't like it when my hands feel super dry and I can tell that they're going to start cracking and oh, it's just really unpleasant. So these are really, like, I just love this, this is really good. Next I'm going to show you my Clarins Daily Energizer Cream, it's um, a nice little orange pot and it's really really nice it's like the texture of it is so smooth it doesn't feel sticky on your face it's really really um how do i describe it oh i don't know how to explain it it's more like um a bit mattifying a little bit mattifying like when you put it on it just seems to like get rid of all your pores as well so it's a bit like one of those um pore shrinkers it just feels like all smooth when you put it all over your face and i think it's a really good cream for underneath makeup and things like that it's just amazing i just really really like this cream and it also smells like really fruity but not too fruity like it's obviously more of a fresh smell it's not it's not like fruity as in like sickly fruity yeah it's quite a fresh fruity smell Next I'm going to show you some makeup products I've been enjoying. Um, first of all this is a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade Walk of Shame and it's a really really nice colour. It's this reddy pinky, um, I don't even know how to really, yeah, red, 
it's this reddy pinky kind of colour. Um, I'll just swatch at the back of my hand. I just think it's a really, really nice shade of lipstick. I enjoy these kind of shades because it reminds me of like, I don't know, it's more like a muted red slash pink with maybe like a little bit of brown, I want to say. I really, really like these kind of shades. Okay, so next I want to be showing you my um, Their Real Mascara by Benefit. This has been highlighted about so many times in the past and I stopped using it um, a while ago just because I wanted to try out some different mascaras and, you know, branch out to try different brands. But I recently purchased this again and yeah i just love it it's i i don't know it's just one of my favorite mascaras because it just even when my eyelashes aren't permed it just makes them stand up and i just absolutely love it so yeah this is definitely a good mascara coming on to the last two things um this is my dressing gown which is stuck oh it's okay now this is my dressing gown and i absolutely love this dressing gown it is amazing it feels like the softest thing I've ever felt and it just feels thick and squidgy and oh I just love it so much I don't want to get makeup on it so don't rub my face on it um yeah it's just really really comfy cozy I got it from Debenhams it is by Jasper Conran and yeah I just absolutely love this dressing gown amazing I also got it in a size um what size did I get this in? 12 to 14. I'm more of an 8, but I prefer when it comes to like hoodies and cardigans and um, dressing gowns and things like that. I much prefer a bigger one just because I like to snuggle and get all cosy in it because, yeah, I just think it just feels a lot better when it's big, oversized and snuggly. Last two things I want to mention is this shampoo and conditioner. This shampoo and this conditioner smell absolutely amazing. I don't even know how to describe it. It's quite coconutty actually. Yeah, quite coconutty. Oh, just gonna pops in my face. Ooh. Coconutty and fruity together. So it just smells amazing. I love the packaging as well. I just feel like the nice dark blue. I saw this and I was just like, oh my God, that is amazing. Just like deep dark blue with like fruity pictures on the front I just think it looks so nice this shampoo and conditioner are both vegan and they are both pure coconut water pure aloe juice um, and no silicones and no sulfates so I just think these are really nice and when I put the conditioner in my hair it just feels so silky soft and I just love these two. I think it makes my hair smell amazing. So yeah, I would highly recommend these two shampoos and conditioners because my hair just feels and smells amazing. Okay, so that was my January favourites and I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!